Washington Department of Labor and Industry requires all contractors to be bonded. This means that you must purchase a surety bond, in this case called a contractor license bond. And in this short video, I'm going to help you understand an overview of Washington license classifications, what a contractor license bond is, the bonding amounts for each classification, and how to purchase your bond fast and for as little as possible. The Washington Department of Labor and Industry has two main classifications, general contractors and specialty contractors. General contractors can perform nearly all construction-based work and they're allowed to hire subcontractors. Specialty contractors focus on a specialized field within the contracting uh, line of work. They're not allowed to hire subcontractors. But a general contractor can add additional specialty licenses to their business and specialty contractors can also add additional specialty licenses. Just keep in mind that these are independent licenses. So each one is going to require its own application process and surety bond. Before we get into the details, really fast, hit that like button for me so we can help other Washington contractors find this video so that they understand their license bond uh, process and how to get one for as little as possible. What is a contractor license bond? A contractor license bond is a surety bond. This is a special type of insurance contract that you're required to purchase as a guarantee that you're going to follow the Washington building codes, that you're also going to service your customers with good business practices and ethics. Think of it like this, by issuing you a license, the Washington Department of Labor and Industry is endorsing you to the public as a contracting professional that they can hire you and expect to get a job done correctly and fairly. It's unfortunate, but there are always gonna be Washington contractors who will defraud their customers just to save money or increase their profits. Acts of misconduct can include failing to start or complete work on a project, not following building codes or performing inferior work, stealing from customer deposits and or down payments, replacing materials with cheaper options to save money, neglecting to pay subcontractors. If a contractor is found guilty of any of these actions, the harmed party, be it a customer or a subcontractor, can make a claim against the bond for partial or full reimbursement, financial reimbursement, but only up to the amount of the bond. How contractor license bond prices are determined. The surety is the insurance company that underwrites surety bonds, and they're gonna use three factors, or primarily three factors, to determine a rate. These factors are primarily personal credit, business and industry experience, any prior bond claims from previous bonds, if any, industry trends in the state. This rate multiplied by your bond amount is gonna be the price that you pay. This is why working with a specialized surety agency like Surety Bonds Direct can, is such a good idea because it can save you hundreds of dollars. Dollars, You see, a specialized surety agency works with multiple A-rated sureties, and this allows us to price shop, find the lowest possible rate, which means you pay the lowest possible price. In the case of Washington contractor license bonds, Surety Bonds Direct has already secured fixed low prices with zero credit check for these following license bonds. Electrical telecommunications contractors, farm labor contractors, any localized county or municipal bond requirement. The rest of the license bonds require a quoted rate to determine your exact pricing. Let's start by taking a look at some example pricing, starting with the fixed price bonds. Then we'll look at pricing for a bond that requires a custom quote. Let's look at the general contractor bond as our example. Fixed bond pricing with zero credit check. For electrical telecommunication contractors, the bond amount is $4,000. You can purchase a one-year term for $100. You can purchase a two-year term for $175. For the farm labor contractor, the bond amount is $25,000. Bond pricing starts at $100. Your price will be 1.2% of the bond amount told to you by the Department of Labor and Industry. For any county or municipal contractor bond requirement, the bond amount is going to vary, but it's going to stop at $25,000. You can purchase a one-year term, it starts at $100. You, get, um, you can purchase a two-year term, which starts at $175. The final price will be 1% to 1.8% of the bond amount told to you by the local agency requiring it. Contractor bonds requiring a quoted price. The remaining license classifications require a surety to provide a custom quote. And remember, they're going to be looking mainly at three things, your personal credit, they're going to look at your business and industry experience, and any prior bond claims if applicable. Here are the amounts for each of the licenses. General contractors have a $12,000 bond amount. Specialty contractors require a $6,000 bond. Fire sprinkler system contractors require a $10,000 bond. And side sewer contractors in general and in the city limits of Seattle require a $30,000 bond. Let's look at the $12,000 general contractor bond as an example. The rates that I'm about to read off to you are from really good to about average. So just remember, it's the rate times the bond amount, $12,000 is going to be the price. A 0.5% rate will cost $60, a 1% rate will cost $120, and a 1.4% rate costs $168. Renewing your contractor license bond. 
We've mentioned the bond term earlier. This is the duration of time where the bond remains active. And as you can see from the examples, the fixed price bonds have an option of one year or two year. Typically, a quoted a bond that requires a custom quote usually has about a one year bond term. As your bond expiration approaches, Surety Bonds Direct will contact you 30 to 45 days in advance to make sure that you pretty much pay that renewal premium. The Washington license, uh, contractor license bonds are all continuous. This means that the original bond that you file with your application will stay on file and you don't have to do anything extra. All you have to do is just pay that renewal premium and you're good to go for the next term, whatever, that, whatever it is you chose. I hope this short video helped you understand the contractor license bond requirements. There's quite a few of them with Washington. Make sure that you check the description. I put a link to our pricing page where you can see all the different licenses and their appropriate bonds with the prices if they are a fixed price bond. Again, ask um, any questions in the comments, like I said, I'll make sure I answer you. If you're looking for your bond right now, click on that link or you can always call a bond specialist at 1-800-608-9950. Hit that like button for me so that we can help other Washington contractors find this video so they can get their questions about the license bond answered and get it purchased for as little as possible. Thank you for watching.